watching a TV show <clears throat> absolutely is a real thing. I'm in the middle of it now with Secret Lives of Mormon Wives. I saw the trailer for this a couple of weeks ago, and I was pretty excited about it. I'm like, this is going to be good drama here. And this Hulu show started, I think, as a, a bunch of Mormon women in Salt Lake on TikTok. And then it ended up evolving into a podcast. And then it got very controversial because they started swinging with each other and hooking up with each other's husbands and stuff like that. And I kind of broke up the whole mommy group. And now they've all come back together on Hulu. And it's a train wreck. It is a train wreck in the worst way. It's terrible. There's a, there's a woman on that show that I am embarrassed for Every second I'm watching it. Taylor. Taylor. Oh, my gosh. Why? I don't, I don't want to. Oh, Loser. I, I, <laughs> she's just stupid. Like, her mom said it best. Uh-huh. Like, you make decisions that on paper and in real life are just not smart and logical. And I feel bad. And I, to an extent, like, I have empathy for her because I think we're all a product of our upbringing. Mm-hmm. And if you're suppressed, suppressed for, suppressed for so long, I think there's that part of you that just wants to swing to the other side. And I think that's why so many of these women are in this position now to be like these Kardashian type people is because, you know, they were told at 18, your one purpose was to be a good housewife and live this good girl Mormon life. And a lot of them never really got to experience life with a choice to be a little wild. Mm-hmm. And now I think that they have a little bit more freedom now that some of them are kind of done having kids or are, are getting divorced from their husbands that they want to live on the wild side. Uh, Grey's Anatomy ended up being a hate watch for me for a while. I, maybe that's the way this goes is either you hate it from the start or you really enjoy it from the start, but then it goes so many seasons that you're like, I freaking hate this. How many t- unbelievable ways can these characters die before you're like, <laughs> when is it going to end? See, same thing for me in Yellowstone. Uh, so the first second and I even I can't remember if it was season three or season four of Yellowstone but by the point you're invested now right like you've spent hours <laughs> with this show and these characters and these people but there was one season where I was like this <laughs> is re <laughs> like I know people don't like your family but come on <laughs> and I did but I I I didn't stop. Right. I had You're to, invested. I had, I had to see it through. It's like it's like a competitive thing in you where you have to get to the end. <laughs> the only show I feel like I ever truly hate watched was this this show called In the Dark. I don't know if y'all ever heard of it. Mm. It's, it's on uh-huh. Netflix. Uh, it's it's about a woman named Murphy <laughs> and she's blind and her friend. Something happens to her friend, so she's forced to try to investigate to figure out what happened to her friend. It's kind of like promising in the beginning. It, it makes a little sense, and it's like okay, it's interesting. But then it just gets so <laughs> stupid because she's doing a whole bunch of things that you know someone who's blind cannot do at all. Mm. Like, and it, but I had to know. I had to know how it how it finished. And as dumb as it was, I watched every single episode. Abby, I'm guessing you have nine of these. I have several. I'm I'm really not a big TV watcher. Like I'm big on social media. Like I will doom scroll on TikTok for days and days. But I will say there was one show I was a wee bit nervous to bring up because I know it's somebody's favorite show in this room. And it's the CW show Riverdale. I don't know if you've ever seen Riverdale, but it is unhinged. It is like somebody took an acid trip and then <laughs> typed in a bunch of keywords to chat GBT and then pushed out a plot line. Some of the craziest ones that have been ranked by Rolling Stone magazine. Um, one of the lead characters, a high school student named Archie at one point in like season two or season three, he escapes from an underground fight club and then fights a bear. Oh. Um, a character specifically goes back in time to stop ML. Case assassination <laughs> in season six. Oh, um, what? Th- by, the, by the way, this is, this is like a teen TV. Like it, nothing wrong with like the sentiment of wanting to stop that. Like you know, go yeah, MLK hero. But like, you know, hero and all. You know, he's great. But like so random for a CW show. At one point, one of the characters' boyfriends has like a tickle fetish like for and like was making cash <laughs> off of taking videos of like people tickling each other it's just unhinged but you want to watch it because you want to see yeah. the unhingedness so in a couple of seconds i will tell you uh the dms i got about this because i asked on instagram and if you want to follow me it's uh, at birch overt uh one hands down you mentioned is coming up more than any other right now emily in paris oh yeah coco melon for adults <laughs> it's just colorful it's beautiful Wh- what's going on she's making out with somebody oh no that boyfriend did her wrong again she's with a new guy 
weird fashion. I kind of like it. I'm not sure, but I want to know what happens next. So somebody broke down like the finances in that show, like where she lives, what she does for a living, what she buys, um, what her utilities would be. And they're like, yeah, no, um, she's in the red quite a bit. Like none of that is realistic, which a lot of people had an issue with friends mm-hmm. and where they lived mm-hmm. in that apartment. And they're like, that is just not even plausible. Here is Tina. Tina, the show that you are hate watching or hate watched. Oh, God. Season three of Love Island has me in a chokehold, and I absolutely hate it. <laughs> Love Island. Man. Yes. I mean, at some oh. point or another, they're all pretty much the same. It's just like, how much more do you hate the new people they bring on the season, right? Every time. And I've only seen season three season three. I started watching it when I was getting my hair done and then five seasons in and I can't stop watching it. <laughs> I look them up on Instagram and I'm way too old for any of it. So that's it. Some I got yesterday on Instagram. Um, I, I, I think I felt the same way about this one. Tiger King. Um, oh, I didn't. I didn't hate watch. I, I love yeah, watch I, I, that. I love Tiger you did, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I enjoyed it. That was not a hate watch. Not that was all. like this is what the world <laughs> needs right now. Facts. Doctor Pimple Popper. Oh, um, I can't do that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's a no for me. That's <laughs> uh, a no for me. Also, Sister Wives, Love Is Blind, uh, Emily in Paris, Emily in Paris, Emily in Paris. Yep, yep. Uh, selling Sunset. Um, mm. That is a good one. Is one. Um, let's see. Lost and Game of Thrones came up quite what? a bit. I understand the Lost one. I understand the Lost one. Like as a hate watch? Just went on for way too long. So again, it's like one you're invested in, so you just keep watching it even though you don't want to just to figure out what the heck happens. Yes. Mm. Got it. I just hated Game of Thrones. I stopped watching it. Yeah? Yeah, I that couldn't do it. I couldn't stop. Uh, Rachel, good morning. You're on the Burt Show. The Hate Watch. Um, Virgin River. I don't know if any of y'all have watched that, but yes. it's like a never ending Hallmark movie. There's like six seasons and the storylines go on and on, so we don't know what happens, but I just can't stop watching it. But the acting is horrible, the storyline is cheesy, and my husband also hates it. So. <laughs> you can hate watch it together. The one that almost offended me that came in a couple of times was Ted Lasso. What? 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 Nah. nah. What nah, offends I love you everything more? About it. What offends you more that people like hate watch it or that I've never seen an episode? No! Hate watch. Yeah. I haven't. I don't, why? I don't know. And when I have the. It's on Apple Plus. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. It's so good. I got it, but I, I don't Kristen, know why. You, you would, would love it. Love it. It is really good. That's what everybody says. But how many seasons are there? And it's just a lot of time. Yeah, and I got into the fairy porn books, and there's just not enough time. There's thirty minute episodes. <laughs> Keeping up with the Kardashians came in quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, the Honey Boo Boo thing. Oh, oh that I was a Honey Boo Boo. Yeah. was a hate watch. And then again, as I'm going through these, scrolling through them for the first time, Emily in Paris, Emily in Paris, Emily in Paris, <laughs> Emily in Paris, Emily in Paris. The Bird Show.